happens if you don't replace a missing tooth? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about missing teeth. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands of people who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you where it can also help you stay on routine and never worry about missing teeth. And having said that, for today's video, let's answer the question, what happens if you do not replace your missing tooth. Oftentimes, if you're missing a tooth or just had a tooth pulled, a tooth extraction, and it is not bothering you, it's not bothering your cosmetic appearance, maybe it's super far back and you can't even tell if it's missing, or if you don't even notice it's gone because you don't have an opposing tooth to chew with, meaning you lost a bottom tooth and your top tooth is also missing. Then, unless you're going to replace both, it's not really functional anyway, so leaving the gap, doing nothing at all is usually fine in those cases. However, more often than not, if you don't replace the missing tooth, you will start to get bone loss in that area, and over time, the opposing teeth can drop down. But again, if both are missing, if there's no opposing teeth, it's more likely to be just fine leaving it alone. Also, something to keep in mind is that most molar teeth are functional and they help you chew food. So although it is always an option to do nothing at all, especially if you're missing both the top and bottom, it might make it harder to chew food, right? So my best advice is to always talk with your dentist about your personal situation regarding your individual mouth, for they will steer you in the right direction about whether or not you should consider replacing it. Now, if you end up wanting to replace your missing tooth, you have three options. The most affordable option is number one, to get a partial denture or a flipper. Again, this does not keep the bone level where it should be, so you can still get bone loss over time. However, it will improve your cosmetic appearance and it will help you chew if it's a true partial denture. But sometimes if it's just a flipper, it's for appearance only. Either way, you need to remove it every night when you go to sleep. But during the day, partials and flippers will fill the gap and make it look like you have a tooth in that empty spot. The second option, number two, is to get a bridge. This used to be the best tooth replacement option before implants came along. But now it's not always considered the best option because you have to crown both adjacent teeth to the missing tooth for a bridge. So if something goes wrong in the future with one of those two teeth holding the middle tooth and the bridge, you now will lose the whole bridge, all three crowns. Plus, if the two teeth are healthy, you are just putting crowns on healthy teeth that otherwise didn't need to be disturbed with drilling and crowns. And again, you can lose bone in that area over time. However, oftentimes it is less expensive than getting an implant. And speaking of getting an implant, your third option is usually considered to be the best option. If you are missing a tooth and you can get a dental implant, it is usually recommended that you get a dental implant. What it is, is a standalone crown that does not place any strain on other teeth. It does not disturb the surrounding teeth and it helps keep the bone level. An implant is actually the screw that goes directly into your bone and after it heals, then you get the crown that screws on top of it. Pro tip, the screw itself is called the implant. The tooth portion you can see is called the implant crown. The implant is not the crown. And the abutment is what holds the two together. Just some dental vocabulary vocabulary for you. So like we said, as of today, implants are considered to be the best option to replace a missing tooth. But don't get me wrong, there are situations where your bone isn't wide enough for the implant to be placed. In this case, sometimes you could get a bone graft where the dentist adds cadaver bone to your bone and sutures it up, but then you're all good and ready for a future implant. However, in select cases, whether it's due to other situations with your bone, due to health conditions, or history of taking biphosphonates, in select cases, it is possible that it is not recommended or you are not eligible for an implant. How to find out if you're eligible? Always number one, make sure you provide a comprehensive updated health history for your dentist to review. And two, the dentist or oral surgeon will always have to take a CT scan on you before placing an implant so they can have a three-dimensional image of your jaw. After a consultation with those two things, your health history and your CT scan, you will be able to find out if you're eligible for an implant. And if for some reason you're not eligible, it's okay. Your dentist will determine the next best treatment option available for your individual mouth, whether it's a bridge or a partial or a flipper or leaving it alone. And last,
lastly, as a dental hygienist, my best advice is to really focus on preventing ever getting to this point, right? I mean, of course, if you're watching this video because you're already missing a tooth and you wanted to hear about all the tooth replacement options, totally makes sense. But for the rest of your teeth, my goal as a dental hygienist is to prevent them from ever getting to the point of ever needing to be replaced. And to do that, it all starts with proper home care. Proper brushing at least two times a day and flossing and or cleaning between your teeth at least one time each day, as well as visiting your dental office routinely, that will all set you up for a healthier mouth and a reduced chance of having any tooth loss. Prevention is so important because there's more and more research showing that people with missing teeth are at an exponentially higher risk of dementia and brain shrieking, as well as getting jobs. There's statistics showing that if you have a noticeable missing tooth, you are less likely to get hired. So I'm all about preventing all of those negatives associated with missing teeth with proper home care routines. So if you are interested in creating the perfect at home routine to prevent major dental issues, such as missing teeth and costly dental visits, such as extractions, bone grafts, bridges, implants, to avoid all of that, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands who have already discovered all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you and I hope it helps you and I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications and if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.